All right, this is another area that I garden in that gets a lot of shade, so it's really hard to garden over here. But I did, I do have some celery. That's what you're looking at right here is celery. Um, and then back here, uh, I've done this before, artichoke, and some years it gets just huge, like five feet tall. This year I just got one little piddly artichoke, and I didn't even bother to, to pick it. So you can see it already open. You can't really eat it once it does that. Um, but the good news is this plant will probably die down and if I leave it there um, and just uh, let it go, it might come back. I've had that happen sometime before where I didn't bother to take it out and it came back the following uh, fall. So this may come back after summer's over, but it will die. It's already on its way out. You can see the leaves are all like to the ground and they're yellowing and stuff. So that's pretty normal. And then over here, you can see how shady this is and this is in the morning and that's when you want your plants to get a lot of sun this really just doesn't get a lot of sun i've got a huge tree over here that shades it. it's my neighbor's tree so there's not much i can do about that but swiss chard will grow in the shade uh so those are two swiss chard and then over here um those are sweet uh sweet potato vines and those will climb up my fence here and take over and they're just gorgeous and by November I will have this just wall of vines with purple trumpet shaped flowers uh, really pretty and then once those flowers die then I can dig up all of this area here and I'll have tons and tons of sweet potatoes.